Hi there, I'm registered dietitian nutritionist Whitney English. Today on The Sitch, we're talking about fasting mimicking diet. Now don't get freaked out, it's way less intense than you think. This past week, I tried the fasting mimicking diet from Prolon, and it actually went way more smoothly than I would have thought given the circumstances. I made a video diary of my five day journey. I feel good. Na, 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 na. But first, I want to teach you a little bit about the science behind fasting and the diet. The diet was created by one of the most prominent scientists in the field of aging, Dr. Walter Longo. I actually got the opportunity to study with Dr. Longo in Italy last summer as a part of my dietetics program, and that's where I first learned about the incredible benefits of fasting. The research is absolutely astounding. For more than 20 years, Dr. Longo and his team have been studying what are called nutrient sensing pathways in cells that are linked to aging and age-related diseases like cancer, diabetes, neurodegenerative diseases, and cardiovascular disease. He and other researchers have shown that fasting and caloric restriction both significantly extend lifespans and prevent or reduce chronic disease in many organisms by activating pathways that promote stress resistance, DNA repair, and autophagy. Now because straight water fasting is way too intense for most people, and in some cases dangerous, Dr. Longo and his team created the fasting mimicking diet to mimic the effects of fasting, but while still providing essential nutrients. In mice, cycles of the diet have been shown to reduce cancer incidence, protect from bone mineral loss, promote neurogenesis, protect from chemotoxicity, stimulate stem cell production, regenerate beta cells in models of type 1 and type 2 diabetes, remyelinate neuron sheaths in models of multiple sclerosis, and extend lifespan. Mind blowing, right? While they obviously haven't been able to test this all out in humans yet, they did do a large clinical trial last year with healthy adults showing that three cycles of the diet were able to lower markers of chronic disease. These results showed lower cholesterol, lower blood pressure, lower levels of C-reactive protein, a marker of inflammation, lower IGF-1 hormone, which is linked to age-related disease, reduced visceral fat stores, which are also associated with chronic disease, and preserve lean body mass. I go into way more detail on all of this over on my blog, so if you're interested, head over there and check it out. There are also references to all of the research that I've mentioned. And now, here is my five-day fasting mimicking diet video diary. Okay, so today is day one of my Prolon fasting mimicking diet. It's going really well so far, but that is because I just woke up about 10 minutes ago. Um, but I'm feeling strong. I will say that the urge to go make a cup of coffee is very strong right now. Um, I, I didn't think I drank that much coffee, but I put it in a mug that's really big, so I'm probably having about two to three cups a day, so the caffeine withdrawal is probably gonna be pretty severe for me. Um, I get to have some tea though, so I'm gonna go make some of this lemon spearmint tea. I'm gonna have my first meal so to speak it's an l bar so this thing is basically just a bunch of nuts and i'm really excited to eat it but so far going strong doing good so i'll give you guys a little peek inside my box here's my prolon box it's got a water bottle basically you're going to fill this with what's called an l drink it's full of glycerol i'll get more into what that does in the blog post later but um, it's a flavored beverage. It's supposed to give you some energy through the day. So you mix your L drink in there. And then every day you have a box of food. This is day one. Let's see what we got in here. I've got minestrone soup, tomato soup, some kale crackers. I've had these before. They're actually really good. Um, the L bar. This is a nut and coconut bar. I've got some algae oil oil pills got to keep keep those omega 3s up got some tea spearmint tea let's see what else more spearmint tea okay we've got these nr1 um, supplements they're basically just vitamin and mineral supplements make sure you're getting everything you need over the five days and some olives can't have a Mediterranean diet without some olives. And another L bar, so on day one you get two of these. What else, what else? Ooh, dessert. 
and dessert. So this one is a cocoa crisp bar. I will definitely be excited about this later tonight. We got our bar, we got the tea, ready to dig in. So we're here having our second meal of the day. We've got tomato soup and mm. some kale crackers. What are your thoughts, Abe? It's pretty good. Very small, but very good. It's really good. I would eat this like normally, not not as part of this regimen. So I would just like a larger serving of the soup. <laughs> so I made it through the day, still alive. It's dinner time now and I am so ready to eat again. I have been feeling pretty good actually. Um, a little bit hungry, but nothing completely unbearable. What's been the worst though is I've had a pretty bad headache because of not having caffeine. So other than that, like the hunger part is going okay. Dinner is served. Minestrone soup. Look how good that looks. It smells really good. It's nice and chunky. Let me get that bean in focus. Oh yeah. The tomato soup for lunch was delicious, so hoping this one will be as well. It is day two. I woke up feeling really good actually. Um, slightly hungry, but no more hungry than I am any other day when I wake up. Breakfast is usually my favorite meal of the day, so I jump out of bed excited to eat, but today I still felt fine. I was like not fiending or anything. Um, my headache from the lack of coffee has gone away, so thank God for that. The only reason I want coffee now is not for energy. I still have a ton of energy. I just miss that taste. It's like one of my morning rituals. So we are actually allowed to have any caffeine-free tea on the diet. So I got some tea chino. This stuff is like um, an herbal tea that kind of tastes a little bit like coffee. So I'm enjoying that. And actually, you can have coffee if you absolutely must. They say um, it's not great, but it's not gonna completely ruin the effects of the fasting. So if you really want coffee, you can have one cup of black coffee um, to start your day. But I kind of wanted to use this as a test to see if I could actually just wean myself off coffee. I think I've been drinking a little bit too much lately. So I, I really want to keep the caffeine out. So hopefully this tea chino will do the trick. Going to eat my L bar in a little bit and yeah, get to work. It's Monday. So one of the new things that happens on day two in the diet is you get this L drink. And basically it's just glycerol. Glycerol is the backbone of fatty acids and your body can take glycerol and turn it into glucose and use it for energy. However, since it isn't glucose, it doesn't spike, spike your blood sugar. So they, I think they include this in the diet and you mix it with some water. Take a certain amount based on how much you weigh. I've got a little thing on the side where you measure it out. Um, and this is basically just to give you a little extra energy since the calorie count drops on the second day. So I'm making my lunch right now, snacking on some olives. These are from Sevilla, fancy. I'm feeling good. Today's going well. Still managing to get through my work despite being on very low cal diet, so it's good. Today's lunch is a mushroom soup blend. Gonna be honest, it is not my favorite. Not as good as the tomato soup or the minestrone that I had last night, but it's okay, it'll do. So I'm pretty shocked. It's five o'clock on my second day of this fast and I am actually feeling completely fine. I have like a ton of energy. Um, I'm not very hungry. If anything, like my brain is a little foggy, but everything is pretty normal. Uh, this is crazy for me. I usually can't go more than like two hours without wanting something to eat. So something is working. Anyway, I'm feeling so good that I'm going to go to a friend's event tonight. I had actually blocked out the whole week so that I wouldn't have anything to do while I was doing this fast and I'm actually able to do a lot of stuff. So day two is winding down. I just got home having my uh, quinoa minestrone soup. Still feeling really good. Uh, I honestly don't think I've had this much energy in a long time. I just feel like a little bit wired actually. 
Uh, my husband, on the other hand, over there on the couch, is not doing as well. Not so good. What's, what's wrong with you, Abe? Very hungry. He's a little hungry. We'll check in with him in a couple days and see if it gets better. Day three, still kicking. Sitting here enjoying my lemon spearmint tea. Getting ready to do some work for the day. Okay, so I have finally hit a low point. Um, it is one o'clock on day three. Feeling very low energy, pretty hungry, almost a little bit feverish. That could be because my air conditioning isn't on high enough though. <laughs> um, I'm about to eat my lunch though, so hopefully things get better. I've got kale crackers and tomato soup on the menu today, and those were delicious when I had them the other day. Dinner time, day three. It couldn't come any sooner. I got my minestrone soup here. I'm feeling a little better, but today was pretty rough. I was very hungry all day, and I had a slight headache come back. Um, please disregard the fact that I'm wearing the same sweater as earlier. Like I said, it's been a hard day. Um, no dessert tonight. No L bar. I'm really sad about that, but I'm going to have some tea and try to go to bed early. Good morning world! It is day four and woo, what a change. I am feeling so good. I woke up without any hunger. The little headache that I had yesterday has gone away. I'm feeling super alert. Didn't even think about my coffee this morning. Um, I'm guessing that I finally transitioned over into ketosis. My body is burning that fat for fuel. Brain's using the ketones. Um, it's working efficiently. I'm feeling good. So. Hopefully the rest of the day continues this way. Now I'm actually heading down to USC to go meet with one of the dietitians that I worked with on um, one of El Nutra's other products called Chemoleave is in a clinical trial right now on cancer patients. So I spent some time working on that. I'm gonna go visit my friends down there at USC and how, see how things are going. I'm at USC with one of the lead researchers on fasting and the fasting mimicking diet. This is my friend, Sebastian Brandhorst. Hey, Whitney. Hey, so uh, I wanted Sebastian to give you guys a little bit of information. So it's day four, I'm feeling amazing. Yesterday I was not feeling so good. What exactly is happening metabolically? Well, I think you, you're at a point where you used up your sugars. You are in a happy ketosis phase. Very happy. Um, I'm assuming the initial urge to eat and crave food is gone. You're feeling... Subsided a little bit. Yeah, you're probably <laughs> on a point where you are um, harvesting and in a point for like trying to find food now, which makes you a little bit more active. Mm -hmm. You use your brain a lot more. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're a little bit more alert. Are those ketones like helping my brain function um, kind of better? Well, the, the, the ketones provide some nourishment for the body. Your, your brain is probably still using the majority of the glucose that is left. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah. Thank so you for clarifying keep, that. Keep going. Day All right. Five. Thanks, Josh. It's day five. Oh, my gosh. I seriously can't believe I made it this far. Um, one more day to go. Today I woke up feeling hungry, very hungry. I even dreamed of food. I don't know if that's because I am so close to being able to go back to eating normally again, um, or if I'm truly hungry, but it's been about an hour since I woke up. I had some water, had a little bit of tea, and now that hunger is starting to subside. So I'm hoping today is as energetic as yesterday was, but last day, I made it. It is two o'clock on day five and I'm feeling pretty hungry. I think my body knows that tomorrow it gets to go back to my regular eating patterns and so it's like, let's do it already. Um, so I'm counting down the hours, but we're getting there. I had my tomato soup and kale crackers. I took my dog for a walk and I'm definitely feeling a little bit better. My brain's been feeling super clear, so that's good. Um, yeah, gonna get do some more work and and look forward to dinner. What are you doing, Abe? Measuring out to make sure we have the same amount. <laughs> Heaven forbid someone gets a little more soup than the other. Every calorie counts. Guess what time it is? It is dinner time. I'm eating the last meal from the diet. So is 
Okay, we almost both, there. We made it. We made it all the way to the end of day five. Pending he doesn't sneak into the fridge after I go to bed, we will have completed this thing. I'm capable of anything. I know you do. We did it! We made it all the way through today's day six, the so-called transition day. We're easing back into our normal diet with some green smoothies. And yeah, feeling good. It was a little tough the last day, but uh, I can keep going now. Oh yeah? Well, luckily you don't have to prove it. <laughs> So as you can see, it was a bit of an emotional roller coaster for both me and my husband. But all in all, not that bad for something that could potentially save your life. Plus, unlike true fasting, you actually get to eat. And I like to eat. For more evidence-based nutrition information, please subscribe to my channel. And visit my blog for more information about fasting, the fasting mimicking diet, and tons of healthy recipes and other great stuff. And if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. I do my best to address all of those. I'm Whitney. Thanks for watching.